Our next step is to line the two sprockets together. Now what alignment means shooting at an end view using for example these two sprockets. We want to have an align is literally be aligned. Now an alignment is not only just of the offset like this or this but also if they are cocked an angle like this or that. So in order to shoot them, we can see the things that we most desire in there. First of all, when the two edges on this side and also the two edges on the finger side are lined up, then the sprocket are aligned. When it's aligned, that means the gear gears will travel nicely from one sprocket to the other sprocket as they separate out. They will stay in alignment. There will be no side loading or no side pulling on the gears. That's our target. In order to do that, along with the two sprockets and some movement capability, the next thing we would need is a straight edge. Now for a straight edge, rather than a flexible straight edge, we have a single edge. I prefer to use the yellow straight edge. Now for alignment, we use a straight edge. And for initial looking, I put it using a yellow straight edge, I put the, f the edge flat up against the sprocket and slide it forward almost like a pull cue to see how close I come to the other sprocket. I get a distance of that sort, which means this is sticking out a little further out than that sprocket wheel is. Then I take this other sprocket wheel shoot off the wheel, bring this up to see that back here I missed by a, by a small amount as well. In the case of possibility that these two are basically cocked outwards from each other. I can verify that by running off this inner part of this gear tooth wheel, running straight over, and I can see that I just about miss this wheel. And running off of this, so put my hand flat to bring it down. I almost catch this wheel. Basically, they're very close from a few thousands of each other. At this point, when I put the chain on, it will tend to pull the shaft this way, which will line up these two faces better. So I'll go ahead and rely upon that. If these did not line up where this wheel or this wheel was out too far, I would take the wheel that was out to that side away from the motor too far, loosen up, and slide it on the shaft slightly in. If it was off by more than half an inch, I would actually turn the sprocket around the other way and mount it back on so I can move the, the, the gear teeth well in by half an inch if I had to. Once they're aligned, the next step is to mount the gear teeth.